Hi guys, Don Rice here. And I'm laying up my first batch of whatever using the auto cycling vacuum pump system that I built over the course of the last couple of weeks. That's it down there. It'll turn on here in a second. It's actually pretty quiet. What I've got here is a uh, uh, there's a there's a mirror sitting on top of the workbench here and on top of that is a piece of peel ply and then I've got three inch wide 16th inch balsa running lengthwise this way and on top of that is 0.2 ounce carbon veil and that's all wetted out and then I've got three inch strips of balsa 16th inch balsa running this way to make a balsa carbon balsa plywood. On top of that is another piece of peel ply and on top of that is a piece of breather cloth which if we zoom in you can see you can see blur. There you go. So you can see this kind of uh, texture. That texture gives the air a place to go um, during the suck so that you don't create little areas that are, get um, little bubbles. Uh, and so I sucked it all down and I had this terrible leak and I was been chasing leaks for the last half hour. Um, had a leak in here so I had to disassemble all of this and I threw some RTV around it and two more layers of plastic with RTV in between and just a big chocolatey mess. And then over here, the, the breather cloth had kind of a sharp edge on it and it poked a hole in the plastic. I need to use thicker plastic. But this is some painter's plastic I had laying around. It's very thin. Uh, and so uh, I, I put down some more RTV on a little patch piece of plastic and laid it on here and uh, still had a leak so did the th same thing again I heard air over here so I ended up running a bead of RTV all the way around here uh, and laid a big piece of plastic on and then I could still hear this leak right here and so I laid, laid another bead of RTV right here and another piece of plastic so I got like six layers of plastic here and RTV and I can still hear the damn leak right here but you know what? I give up. It's sucked down. It's being held held tight. The system turns on more often than it should. Oh well. Uh, and we're running at um, between 10 and 15 inches. So I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Give this a little bit more, a little more pressure. So it just turned on at 11. And it turned off at 14. There, it turned on at 13. Turned off at 17. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna let that run all night. I'm not using West, where it would already be set up by now. I am using Easy Lamb. We get this stuff from ACP and I'm using the 60 minute hardener versus the 30 minute hardener. You can see how the, the resin has soaked completely through uh, most of the balsa and the peel ply and I clearly have way too much resin on this. So. Um, I will still end up with some good usable plywood. It just won't be as light as it could be. 
Um, it should still end up being lighter than light ply and probably stronger, but we'll see. This is my first batch. Later.